breaking news. This is ABC 27 News at 7. Good evening, I'm Valerie Pritchett. Thank you for your time. A temporary transfer of power as Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman is recovering after a heart procedure. Senate President Pro Tem Jake Corman briefly took his place. Dennis Owens is here with more. Dennis. Hey, Valerie. Jake Corman, who dropped out of the race for governor, became Lieutenant Governor for just under three hours this afternoon as Fetterman had a pacemaker implanted. Fetterman had the procedure after suffering a stroke on Friday. He's been at Lancaster General Hospital ever since. The Fetterman campaign says it's short and standard procedure. It began at 3.15 today and concluded about 5.56, according to their statement. And during that time, Corman technically became the state's second in command. He is the president pro tem of the Senate. This happens to come on Election Day. Fetterman has a big lead in the polls throughout the race for U.S. Senate. His campaign statement says he is on track for a full recovery. Now, prior to his procedure, Fetterman tweeted a photo of himself filling out an emergency absentee ballot from his hospital room at Penn Medicine, Lancaster General Hospital. And the governor's office also released a statement today clarifying that Corman was sworn in and that Fetterman gets his powers and duties back four days after he informs the legislature that he's good to go. There were some questions, most notably by Corman, about how Friday was handled when the lieutenant governor initially had the stroke and whether or not proper notifications were made. Valerie. Thank you, Dennis.